Good morning. I'm Bridget Ellison. We are so glad you're with us today. I'm Julie Broughton. Candace will be in later today. Breaking right now, though, Governor DeSantis has just suspended Orange Osceola County State Attorney Monique Worrell. And DeSantis said he's removing her from office for not following the laws of Florida in what he called a pattern of avoiding minimum mandatory sentences on several different offenses. DeSantis made the announcement in Tallahassee this morning alongside Attorney General Ashley Moody and FDLE Commissioner Mark Glass. I am today announcing the suspension of State Attorney Monique Worrell from the Ninth Judicial Circuit effective immediately. The governor cited several cases where he ultimately blamed Worrell's office's failures for serious dangerous offenders for ending up on the streets again, including Dayton Veal, accused of shooting and critically wounding two police officers over the weekend, which Attorney General Ashley Moody echoed. Dayton Veal was arrested in March of 2023 for sexual battery on a minor, as well as lewd and lascivious molestation. The arrest was made while he was on probation for another offense. That probation began in February of 2022, and yet... He was still let out on bond and then tragically shot two Orlando police officers. In order for a dangerous criminal to be detained pre-trial, the state attorney has to file a motion for pre-trial detention. That was never done. Not only was it never filed, at the hearing the prosecutor never asked for this gentleman, this criminal that raped a child, and was dead to rights on that, stay in jail. The rule and the statute required for the judge to detain that person that that motion be filed, and it was never filed. Our Mike DeForest reported in the last several days, though, since the shooting of the two Orlando officers at the time of his arrest, Veal was under the supervision of the Florida Department of Corrections. Orange Osceola State Attorney Monique Worrell says the decision to release a defendant from jail on bond is dictated by judges in Florida law, not her office. She also refused to point fingers on who was really to blame. Hindsight is 2020. Right. There's any number of things that can be done on any given day that could make an outcome be different. In this case, those things weren't done. And, and here we are today. DeSantis says he has appointed former Orlando Judge Andrew Bain to serve as the state attorney for the duration of Worrell's suspension. We have reached out to Worrell's office for a comment on this. We'll also have much more updates coming up on News 6 at noon and clickorlando.com.